Hey, what's going on, everybody? What's happening? This is Ken Cloutier of GetMotivatedForSuccess.com. I live down in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, where I teach people all over the world how to generate leads for their business, their home business, uh, network marketing business, MLM, how to sponsor more reps and make more money. So let me ask you this. Do you want to get more um, results? Do you want to get more activity from your posts, your, your posts on social media, whether it be Instagram, Twitter, um, you know, Facebook, Facebook Live, all that stuff. Do you want to get more activity? Do you want to have people, you know, hey, Dale, do you want to have, you know, prospects clicking on your link or, you know, filling out your form? Well, I think I know the answer. The answer is probably yes, because how many of you have posted something and, you know, <laughs> you're sitting by and hoping somebody will like it or share it or comment or you know opt into something that you have and all you hear are crickets, right? Cricket, 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 cricket. Now, the reason most of it, not all of it, but the reason why most of those posts, nothing happens is because they're a very generic post. And what I mean by a generic post is that, you know, it's, hey, do you wanna get more leads? Click here, right? Do you wanna make more money at home? Click here. It's a, it's a very like one sentence, two sentence type post that, um, you know, there's literally like no emotional content to it. It's just like, hey, do you want to get leads? Click here. And people are tired of that. Honestly, it, it worked years ago, but right now, you know, people are, you know, turning to social media for education, entertainment, that sort of thing. So they're, they're tired of getting spammed. They're tired of all the broken promises, all the... You know, if you click here, you're going to get $5,000 tomorrow. Just sign up now. You know, that sort of thing. So I want to share with you very quickly, and I learned a lot of this stuff here. Actually, I've learned, I learned a lot of it from a bunch of different people, but I got to say probably Gary V, Gary Vaynerchuk is probably the first one that I heard this from. Um, you know, you've heard the expression, you, you, can, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. Well, for you and I, in our marketing efforts, we want the stinking horse to drink. You feel me? We want to make the horse drink. Not only do we want to lead the horse to the water, but we want that horse to drink. Okay? So how do you do that though? How do you do that on social media? Well, what you do is, is you, you understand, and this is what I want you to understand, and I'm going to offer you, I'm going to give you access to a, a, a ridiculous training um, after I'm done here. You click on the link below. Um, and you can get access to that training. But, um, you know, the way that you do that is you, you, you tell a story, right? Sorry, the sun. You tell a story. So you could, um, oh, okay, I, I have one yesterday that, as an example that I did. Um, and it was about driving traffic, internet traffic, you know, for your business so you can get more leads and sales, right? And so I could have posted if you go on my, my uh, Get Motivated for Success on Facebook wall, you'll, you'll be able to see this. But I, I could have posted something very generic like most people are doing is like, hey, do you want to get more? We first need to find out if they're even thirsty. This is true. This is true. You'll find out if they're thirsty if they click on your link or if they stop, you know, the, the, the thing where, you know, they're scrolling along and your goal is to get them to stop. That's how you figure out if somebody's thirsty, number one, because they're looking. Number two, though, the way, the way to get them to take more action and to get them to start drinking the water, right, drinking the punch, is to tell a story. And going back to my example, on my wall yesterday, I posted something that was about how to generate more traffic to your offers, to your, you know, to get more leads for your business, right? And so I could have done what most people do and they say some corny line like, hey, do you wanna get more traffic for your business? Well, click here and learn the five ways to do it, right? That's one way. What I decided to do, and I'm not saying mine was perfect, right? But I wanna give you an idea here of how to do it. What I did is I had taken a picture months ago when we had a hurricane. Hurricane Irma was coming. It was a Cat 5 hurricane. And my wife and my family, my dog, every, we were busting out of Dodge, right? And in Florida, in South Florida, there's basically, you can only go north. <laughs> there's, there's basically one way out of Florida. You can go west and then north. You can go east and then north, but you got to go north. So long story short, we were on the highway um, 
you know, on 95, I think, and it was gridlocked. We had our cell phones, you know, to, for, for like map, you know, the maps where you can, you know, give you directions um, on the phone. And what you could see was a line of 95 and it was all red. And basically what that meant is that it's, it's gridlocked, stop and go traffic. It's like a parking lot out in, um, you know, on the highway. It was basically literally a parking lot stop and go you'd stop for 10 minutes and then you'd roll five feet and then you'd stop again for another 10 minutes it was pandemonium so what i had done at one point is i took a screenshot of the of the um the you know the directions and it showed this red line going up and i said you know we're trying to get out of here for irma so what i did is that's something i had posted months and months ago and i said you know what let me tell a little story so i took that picture where you could see that it was gridlock traffic and I said you know this is a picture that was taken several months ago when we were on our way out of Florida trying to escape Hurricane Irma um, you know the traffic was intense it was terrible blah blah you know just a quick little thing like that and then I said but today my traffic on the internet looks like this and I'm getting leads and sales every single day and then I shared a link that they could learn how to get leads and sales every single day now you may be like, okay, well, what's the big deal? Well, the big deal is I didn't come across as just another marketer that's saying, hey, you know, sign up for my deal or you know, do this to, to get more leads and traffic. I told a little story. I told a little backstory and used a very unique picture that was, came from my cell phone, a screenshot, to get people to understand how bad the traffic was trying to escape Hurricane Irma. But you know, wouldn't you like that kind of traffic going to your website every day? Like the traffic sucked sitting in traffic, but my God, I'd want that kind of traffic going to my website every day. This is what I'm doing to get that kind of traffic. So you be, cre be creative, right? Be creative, tell stories. I'm not saying to lie, but tell stories that are unique to you. Maybe you have a picture that is you and your family, right? But that picture means something because maybe it was some uh, a special place that you guys have always wanted to travel to maybe it's a you know a special moment where you're celebrating your you know grandma's 101 birthday right and take something that's dear to you that that's that's that only you have right your life experiences and tell a story about it and then share the pain point that everybody else is feeling within that story and you have the solution. So like my pain point that I'm sharing with everybody is there's so many people that they want to get more traffic to their opportunity, right? They're not getting enough prospects to see their business opportunity or their products. So what I did is I took a story of crappy traffic, took a picture, shared it, explained a little bit, and then explained the solution of how you can get this kind of traffic that normally sucks, but now you can get this kind of traffic to, to the internet so that you can make money. If you do that on many more of your posts, you'll get more reactions. You'll get people to, you know, who cares if they like it or not. My goal is to get them to click the link to opt in to get whatever it is that, you know, I want them to see. That's my goal. I could care less about likes and comments and all that. It's important, but, you know, I have posts that don't have a ton of likes, but I got a bunch of opt-ins from that post. So if you get creative, if you tell stories, right, that will make you more human, you're going to get people that, are, uh, are, that will react a different way than the same old typical, hey guys, you want to make more money? Hey guys, you want to get more leads? Hey guys, you want to do this? Click here. Tell a story. Remember, facts tell, stories sell. Now, I told you at the beginning here, I was going to give you access to a, a, a great training um, by somebody by the name of um, Diane Hockman. And Diane Hockman, uh, stay-at-home mom, um, she was making years, I mean, years ago, she was making more money than most doctors. Um, what's up, Shane? Good to see you. Um, and, but what she talks about, one of the biggest skill sets that she learned is how to tell good stories. And again, these aren't like fake stories. These aren't made up. It's just how to construct a good story that's compelling enough that will, you know, make people want to, you know, buy your products. So if you're interested in that, I left the link to the training right below here. It's a, like over an hour training and she literally dissects how to tell a good story. She even talks about like there's different characters within the story. There's different plots within your story that if you follow this stuff, fill in your blanks, 
you're gonna get some really, really good results, right? You're gonna get some really good results. I love this training. I go back and watch it every so often just because there's little things that I may forget here and there, but when I start to use what she talks about in how to tell a good story, I get results. And that's what we're looking for, folks, right? We're looking for results. So I hope you, I hope you got value um, you know, from what I gave you, but more importantly, honestly, that training that Diane Hockman did is so good. I want you to get access to the training and I want you to check that out and start using the things that she talks about so that you can get more eyeballs on your opportunity. Your, your social media posts will no longer have crickets. You'll be able to accomplish what you want to do, which is to you know, build your email list, to get people signed up, to get people to buy your product, but you got, they gotta drink the water. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. Well, I'm sharing with you how to get the horse to drink. So again, I hope you guys got some value. Thanks for the comments below. If you have any questions at all, feel free to drop a comment. Hit me up on Facebook. Um, you know, if you need some more like one-on-one -on -one type stuff, you know, we can chat. Um, but definitely, listen, check out, like seriously, from as a brother, check out the link with the training by Diane Hockman. It's awesome. So with that said, guys, hope you get some great value from that training. Let me know how you liked it. And um, I will see you on the next video. It was great sharing with you guys. This is Ken Cloutier of GetMotivatedForSuccess.com down in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Peace out. Take care, guys. Good to see you on.